What's up guys? I'm just going to show you this quick easy video tutorial on how to add the bull market support bands to your trading view to measure out kind of the start for the start of the four years having cycles to the end of the four year having cycles and I'll cover that a little bit in the end of the video. I'm here on trading view. Now the easiest way to do it is to click on indicators and go to community scripts, type in bull market, and we'll see here bull market support bands. Somebody already made it right here. You can just add that one and save it to your chart, and you got it pulled up here. You should be on the weekly because it is set preset to a weekly chart. Uh, as you can see here right there at the end of the weekly now another way to do it is just to do it by script so let's get rid of it here let's go down here click on this arrow now you're gonna have to go to this website I'm gonna paste uh, this code in the description of my video and I'm also gonna put a link to the website so either way you can do it this is the code you have to copy here we copied it we're back on trading view we're right here where I said we clicked this arrow. We're in the Pine Editor, and you're just going to paste it right in there. All right, we pasted that. Now you're going to click Save. Bull Market Support Band, just leave it at that. Bull Market Support Bands, call it whatever you want. Click Save. We're going to minimize that. And now we're going to come back up here to Indicators, My Scripts. You can see Bull Market Support Bands. You can add it to your favorites, keep it in My Scripts click on it you got it you got the bull market support bands one of two ways on your trading view now what are the bull market support bands well typically when Bitcoin crosses above the bull market support bands around the time of the having cycle it stays above the bull market support bands all the way to the top where it kind of dumps as soon as it crosses below it it kind of dumps now what are the bull market support bands well, they are just simply the 20-week simple moving average and the 21-week exponential moving average. The simple moving average is just all the week close prices divided by 20 weeks. And the exponential, same thing, but it puts more weight on the more recent prices. And let's close this here. So as you can see, I mean, we had a little bit of a weird year this uh, well technically 2021 where we did cross below the bull market support bands both of them which should technically mean the bull run is over it's a bear market but we did cross back above them here in August and we've kind of held them here to where we cross back below again so they haven't been the greatest indicator of the end of the bull market I mean I guess you could kind of say they have been a good indicator if we keep going down now from here. Technically, this would have been in the end, even though we did come back up and we went down like this. But if Bitcoin does something like this and breaks back above again and keeps going like this, you know, it's hard to tell. But typically in past cycles, not this one, it's been, you know, pretty accurate where it crosses back above like this crosses above the bull market support bands and it stays and bounces off it all the way to the top of the bull market cycle and um, you can see this back here you know 2015 it basically stayed above it the whole time since I'm not sure when the having was but yeah you can see it basically bounced off of it and it held held it as support all the way up to 20,000 which was the end of the 2017 cycle and we saw it cross back down here and couldn't quite break above went like this did not break above did not close a weekly candle above and it went all the way down to you know the bear market low of around 3000 crossed back up here I'll get rid of some of this crossed back above the bull market support bands right there at about 4000 and you know it went all the way up to about 13,000 there so you know it, it's it used to be a pretty good indicator it still is you know I mean it's it's a pretty big deal but basically this this video is just how to add the bull market support band indicator to your trading view if you want to mess around with it if you want to save it on your trading view for good 
And like I said, I'll put this in the description. I'll put a link to this for the code. If you can't find it just by searching or if you don't want somebody else's indicator, if you want to make it yourself. And um, here's a little bit on Crypto Potato about the bull market cycles, bull market support bands. I'll put a link to this in the description also. Um, let's just go down here. Bit Bitcoin market cycles of facts. Short history of Bitcoin 2009, born Bitcoin. The market cycles lasted approximately four years. It's based on the Bitcoin halving, which happens once every four years. And that's believed to be the middle of the market cycle. That's what happened previously in 2012, 2016, and 2020. For the halving events, that's kind of the low. Um, every every low of the major cycle never reached the top of the previous one. Uh, you can just read more about this here. Um, just to kind of understand, you know, the bull market support bands a little bit better. Uh, but that's all I got for you guys today. Hopefully you can use the bull market support bands as a good indicator on your trading view. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.